Hi everyone, here's our math problem for today. We are given here this pink triangle and inscribed in the triangle is the blue circle. And at the points of tangency between the triangle and the circle, we have the vertices of this yellow triangle. And our goal is to find what is the area of this yellow triangle. Given that side AB is equal to 15 units, side BC is equal to 20 units, and side AC equals 25 units. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. And thanks to Aditya Mahanta for this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. There are different ways of solving this problem, but in this video, I'm going to use what we call as the shoelace formula. And in this formula, the idea is we are going to find the vertices of the triangle. And once we found those vertices, we are going to use the shoelace algorithm that mimics threading your shoes when evaluating for the value of the area. Our main goal, therefore, first is to situate our triangle in a Cartesian plane. Specifically, we are here at the first quadrant of our Cartesian coordinate system with point B having a coordinate of 0, 0. Since it is given that side BA is equal to 15 units, it follows that the coordinate of this point A is 0, 15. Also, since we know that BC is equal to 20 units, then the coordinate of point C must be 20, 0. Next, let's locate the center of our blue circle. Since our circle is an in-circle, this center, let's call this as point Q, is our in-center. Then the radius of the circle is the in-radius, so DQ is an in-radius, and QE is also an in-radius, the same with QF. Let's compute for the length of the radius dq using this formula. The radius can be computed by adding the length of the side AB and BC minus the length of side AC, the result divided by 2. This gives us a value of the in radius to be equal to 5 units. So that means dq is 5, QE is also 5 units. So R is equal to 5 units. It implies that the coordinate of point D must be 0, 5, and the coordinate of point E must be 5, 0. We now have the two vertices of the yellow triangle. What is missing is the coordinate of vertex F. So how can we find the coordinate of point F? Notice that point F is the intersection of the blue circle and this pink line side AC. We know that in order to find the coordinate of the point of intersection, we are going to use system of equations. So in here, we need the equation of the circle and the equation of the line. Let's recall that when we have a circle centered at coordinate HK, we can find the equation of the circle by using this formula where r is the radius. So using this formula, the equation of our circle can be written as x minus h, where h is equal to 5, plus y minus k, where our k again is 5, because our center q is at 5, 5. Then our radius is also 5 units, so we have this 5 squared. Simplifying 5 squared, we now have this equation of the blue circle. Let's call that as our equation number one. Next, let's identify what is the equation of line AC. We know that the equation of a line is in the form y equals mx plus b, where b is this y-intercept, and our y-intercept here is 15. So we have y equals mx plus 15. The slope is the change in y with respect to the change in x, or the rise over the run. But our change in y from point A going to point C is we are going to move down 15 units. The change in x is we move to the right 20 units. So negative 15 over 20 
or negative 3 fourths is our slope. So we now have the equation m is negative 3 fourths, copy x plus the y-intercept of 15. Let's call this equation as our equation 2. So these are the two equations that we can solve simultaneously in order to find the value of x and y, which is the intersection of the line and the circle, which is also the vertex of the yellow triangle. Solving this system of equations, we use the substitution method. We have this y equals this value, so substituting negative 3 fourths x plus 15 to y in our equation 1, we arrive at this equation. Next, 15 minus 5 is 10, so we can simplify this further this way. And we have here two squares of binomials. So we can expand this binomial and this binomial this way. So the square of the first term minus twice the product of the first and the second terms plus the square of the last term. That's how we expand this part. And expanding this second square, a binomial, the square of the first term minus twice the product of the first and the second terms plus the square of the second term that is equal to 25. Now, 25 and 25 are the same, so we can subtract 25 from both sides. x squared plus 9 over 16 x squared will result to 25 over 16 x squared. Then minus 10 x minus 15 x is minus 25 x. We copy 100. 25 and 25 are cancelled out, so the right side is 0. This is a perfect square trinomial, which can be factored this way. The square root of 25 over 16 is 5 over 4. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 100 is 10. Copy the minus sign. If you want to check if this is correct, we can expand this binomial, and that will result to this perfect square trinomial. Copy the right side. Now, since the right side is 0, we can eliminate this exponent 2 by taking the square root of both sides to arrive at 5x minus 10 equals 0. Now, solving 4x, we can eliminate the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by 4 to arrive at 5x minus 40 equals 0. And solving 4x, add 40 to both sides and divide by 5 to get x equals 8. Now, going back to this equation here, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 15, substituting x equals 8 in this equation, that resulted to y equals 9. So this point f, therefore, must have a coordinate of 8, 9. We now have the three vertices. We can now apply the shoelace formula. And the shoelace formula for the area of a triangle is computed this way. 1 half times the absolute value of this determinant. And in this determinant, the product of the downward diagonal is positive, and we subtract the product of the upward diagonal. So let's implement that. So the area of triangle DEF is now equal to 1 half times the absolute value of these ordered pairs, and we evaluate this by performing this computation. We copy 1 half times the absolute value, downward diagonal, 0 times 0 is 0, 5 times 9 is 45, 8 times 5 is 40, minus the product of the upward diagonals. 5 times 5 is 25, minus 0 times 8 is 0, minus 9 times 0 equals 0. When you listed down the coordinates in counterclockwise direction, the resulting value here when evaluated would be positive, but when you go clockwise direction, the resulting value inside this absolute value is negative, but when you take the absolute value, you will still arrive at a positive value for the area. So simplifying this now, 45 plus 40 is 95 minus 25 is 60. So we arrive at 1 half times the absolute value of 60, which is equal to 30 square units. So therefore, the area now of the yellow triangle must be 30 square units. And this is now our final answer, which we arrived at using the shoelace formula. Other methods will also result too the same value. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.